Okay, so the video I promised uh, explaining what happened in the meet and just um, talk a bit about it. Uh, so let's start from the beginning, okay? This is going to be a very long video, by the way. So if you don't have patience, I totally understand. Just, just warning you. Um, so let's start from the beginning. So I decided to do the meet and uh, I wanted to do, obviously, a, a peaking program. And I talked with CJ, which is a friend of mine. He's a lot more knowledgeable and experienced than I am. And she recommended me a Russian template, uh, a method, or you wanna, whatever you want to call it. And so I used it. Okay? That was my first um, slight mistake. Uh, the peaking program was, if I remember correctly, seven weeks. And I had six weeks to, to do it. Uh, so yeah, that wasn't very nice. And then, uh, it, it even was worse uh, because as I was doing the program, I misread and misunderstood some parts of the program and I did way too higher reps and uh, way too higher effort. I was basically uh, almost breaking rep PRs in my peaking, which uh, you weren't supposed to do at all. So yeah, I kind of fucked <laughs> in that area, but whatever, I don't think that would be very relevant. I don't think if I have done everything perfect in the, in the peaking, that uh, it would, that the meat would be any significant uh, difference. So anyway, uh, I finished the the, the picking program. I, I, since since I had like one week, uh, since since the the program was one week longer than I had to, uh, I had to skip one of the weeks. So yeah, but anyway. Uh, last week of the program, uh, which was two weeks out, and then when the program was over, I deloaded. Um, the the deload I made was um, I made two days of a deload. I made deloads, then rest, then deload, and then all rest days until the day of the meet. So yeah, I did that, and now we are in the meet. The goals that I had uh, initially uh, before starting the meet prep for my meat was 185 kilos for my squats, 100 kilos for my bench, and 200 kilos for my deadlift. However, uh, I decided to change that, okay? When I was in the middle of, of meat prep, I noticed that 100 kilos bench, pause bench, was a, a irrealistic uh, goal, so I changed that to 95. And um, I don't remember exactly when, but also, uh, when I was close to the meet, I decided to drop the 100 kilo squat, 180 kilo squat, no, fuck, sorry, the 185 kilo squat to 180 uh, squat. This simply because I didn't want to fail uh, lifts. It was very important to me that I, that I hit all my lifts and I, I didn't want to miss anything. I think that was, I thought at the time that that would be very important for my overall motivation uh, just to continue competing and so I decided to drop down a bit because I was fucking sure that I would hit 180 kilos like 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 a hundred percent sure so yeah so now at this time uh, before the meet my goals were 180 squats 95 bench and 200 kilo deadlift so yeah the meet starts uh, squat opener okay oh I forgot and um, one week out of the competition, um, I was too heavy. I was almost 85 kilograms and I needed to be 82.5. So what did I did? Water, carb, wa water slash sodium slash uh, carb cut. Okay, and I just ate very, very little uh, just to drop weight. And even then, in the first days, I was still not dropping weight. I only started to drop the weight I needed one day before the weigh-in, so I think I like nailed uh, right on the on the on the spot. So yeah, I dropped uh, when I weighed uh, in my meet. I weighed one eighty-one point three, so I actually lost more than one kilo than I had to. But whatever. And by the way, the one day after the meet, I was eighty kilograms. So uh, yeah, I lost a lot of a lot of weight. Um, even 80 kilos after my refeed for the meat. But yeah, so let's go back. Um, I, I made the weight by cutting almost um, 4 kilos of water or so. Um, 
So yeah, I made the meat squat, right? So for squat, what did I wanted to open with? I knew that I knew I knew that I had to hit my opener. So I wanted to go with something very very light. Uh, so I chose 150 kilos. Okay, 150 kilos is really really fucking light. 150 or 155, I don't quite remember. But yeah, it was very very light. And so I walked to the bar. I picked the bar and I squat. The problem is, th th there is, I think, two problems, and, and I don't know which one um, weighted the most. One is since I switched to low bar recently, I think I, I, I wasn't very comfortable, and I think I leaned over too much. And second of all, I think the, um, I never squatted in the squat bar before. The squat is fucking thick and very very heavy. Um, I just wasn't uh, used to, to it. And I think those two factors uh, uh, contributed to me losing my balance. So when I come up from, from the squat, uh, I, I lost my balance and I had to rack it uh, before the, the rack man. So, red light. So, now the second attempt. The second attempt, I was like, fuck it, I'm not gonna get, uh, get off balance this time. So, I, I made the... Um, the bar position in my, in my back just a little bit higher so that I could stay more upright and um, the, the the lift went fine but I still got red light, red light, light and I was like what the fuck did I do now I went to the um, to like the, the boss of, of that shit and he told me that it was because of death now I, I later on checked the video and um, it's hard to tell if I was parallel or not the, the angle that I captured in wasn't very good, but yeah, they, they they said they thought it wasn't parallel. I can't do anything. So now what what do I have? I have to pick my third attempt, uh, my third attempt, and I can't miss it because if I miss it, I'm disqualified, and I really didn't want to be disqualified. I really, really, really wanted to do to try my 200 kilo deadlift. That was like my ultimate goal. So so yeah. So here we have 155 kilo for the for the first attempt, 160 kilo for the second attempt, and um, what what I wanted for my for my third was 170 or 175. I don't remember. So yeah, here here I go to the to the third attempt, and uh, I noticed uh, that the weight wasn't what I re requested. I requested 170 or 175, I don't remember, and there was the previous weight, which was 160, 10, 10 to 15 kilos lighter. And I was like, what the fuck? So I went there and I started uh, complaining about with them, but then I was like, ah, fuck it, I already missed uh, two lifts, so maybe it's better than, than the, it's better to be lighter, uh, so that it's easier and I have a better chance of, of getting a good lift. So I was like, Fuck it, I will do this way, it doesn't matter if it's lighter than I requested. And so I did it, and I passed, good lift, so good. Um, then the bench, I was really really fucked and really really pissed about missing my squat opener, so I, was, so I was like, I'm not going to fucking miss my opener on the bench. So I was like, let's go really really light, 60 kilos, okay? And uh, I went there, 60 kilos. And I knew all the commands, I knew everything. The problem is I didn't rack, right? And when I lower it, I, I have this weird, um, this weird habit that I noticed that I wasn't the only one doing this in the meet, which was after they, after I paused and after they said press, I kind of do like a little bouncing. You can't even see, like, 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 like this. They say press, and I do like a little little bouncing um, but yeah uh, I did that and I got red lighted even though I paused um, perfectly except that bouncing thing but it was my fault it wasn't rules you can't do that it was my fault so yeah 60 kilos red lighted next one I decided 75 kilos because now I knew what my mistake was and I knew I, I could hit 65 kilos anyway um, so yeah then I did it I rack it paused this time I didn't pause, I didn't bounce, I mean, and yeah, I quiz, I go up, um, they say rack, I rack it. 
Um, so yeah. Uh, now, now the third attempt. The third attempt I wanted to to go to 85 kilograms. However, there was a misunderstanding somewhere, and uh, they called me when the, it wasn't my turn. So it was another guy's weight, and that weight was 110 kilos, which for me is a fucking lot. And so. It was stupid for me not to confirm the weight, but I just, uh, I was kind of in a rush uh, to get to the platform and shit because you have time and you can't take too long, people are complaining with you. So I just wanted to get the lift quickly. So I didn't even notice that the weight was, was almost a double or something. So yeah, I unrack it, and as soon as I unrack it, I noticed that, it, damn, this, this, is, this is fucking heavy. And when I'm doing the negative, I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, how, like, my, my exact so thought at that point was how on earth did I get so weak? This isn't supposed to be that heavy, even in a negative. It's impossible. I won't even be able to, to move the bar. So, I lower it, I, I paused, and then, like, it even it wouldn't even move an inch. And uh, so, yeah, the spotters that was actually, were actually uh, quite quick to, to catch the bar, and I didn't get injured or anything, um, which was a good thing. But yeah, it was their mistake and that fucked me a lot. The big problem about this was uh, I, I, I was doing a weight that wasn't mine and I failed. And now the problem is I had to, to make my own weight. Now I had to do my third attempt which was 85 kilograms. And I had to do it right now. So I just did 110 kilograms which I failed. And now uh, like one, mil one minute later I had to do my third attempt. So that was fucked up, but I had to do it, so I went there at kilograms and I just couldn't get it up. And I, I'm, I'm very, very positive that I would, would be able to get it if I wasn't tired from that attempt. But um, yeah, it is what it is, it happened. So let's move on, the bench, so let's recap. I opened with 60 kilograms, red lighted, then 75 kilograms, good lift. Then their mistake, 110 kilos, failed obviously, and then I tried what was supposed to be my third attempt, 85 kilograms, kilograms and I failed because I was tired, probably. Um, so yeah, now goes to deadlifts. Deadlifts, I decided to open very, very light as well. I opened with 170 kilos, if I'm not mistaken. So I went there, I picked it up, went um, good, and just everything went, uh, went fine. So second attempt, 185 kilograms. Okay, this is still no way I can miss this, but it's 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 already heavy. Um, so yeah, I went there, I picked the bar, and it went, it went, it it didn't went up very easily. Um, and I think it was because when I was doing my my knee divings, I think my the bar rolled a bit f from the left side. So when I was picking the bar. The bar wasn't even, so the left side was more uh, more out uh, than than the than the than the right side. The left side to the right to the right side. Sorry if I am confusing. Um, so yeah, the bar rolled, and I think that fucked me a bit when I started pulling, and that's why the lift got harder than than it was supposed to. But yeah, I still got it up, good lift. Then my third attempt, 200 kilos, which was. My ultimate goal. I was. I was really want. I really wanted to hit that. And so I go there. I do my setup. Everything's fine. And I started pulling. And um, I just wasn't strong enough. I, I. I either wasn't strong enough, or I either was f just fatigued uh, from the meat because uh, all all the all the the maxes uh, that I that I test in training. I don't do mock meat. So every time I test one one max, I never test the other max, so I, ne I never test my squat and my bench and my deadlift uh, in the same day. So maybe uh, when I kind of did that in the meet, maybe it, it tired me uh, more than I'm used to in training, and so maybe that's why I couldn't uh, get it up. Or I just don't have the enough strength um, to lift 200 kilos yet, I don't know, we will never know. Um, and also in the 200 kilos also happened uh, what happened in the second attempt to a smaller degree, which was the bar rolled a bit, but it wasn't that uh, it, it didn't roll that much, so I don't, I don't know if that made an impact or not. Um, 
but so yeah that's it uh, the video I explained why I picked every weight why I failed uh, every weight and uh, that's it the meat was fucking awesome um, obviously I didn't hit the numbers I wanted to hit uh, the squats I ended up with my triple uh, in the bench uh, I almost uh, probably all uh, I probably ended up has, has my triple also uh, based on percentages and on my deadlift uh, I just couldn't get uh, the, the third attempt but yeah the, but awesome experience I met a lot of people I saw a lot of a lot of good lifters a lot of cool people um, it was a lot of I was actually quite surprised there was a lot of females there I really had no idea there was such a like a big community in powerlifting especially in my country uh, female wise so so that was good to see and good to know some of them um, and yeah just awesome experience overall and just sorry for the long video peace